Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Coriander, we are here Sunday night talking about Kingdom of the Spiders. What's going on? Not much. Yeah, this is like the best movie. So I love that you played the trailer. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> you got to love the old school stuff. Uh, yeah. Real quick, let's uh, check out uh, the chat here. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, we, we got Joseph. Joseph's in the chat saying nice. hi to his dad. <laughs> <laughs> and also saying thank you for the birthday love night watch oh thanks Aww. we appreciate that joseph and Definitely. again happy happy birthday to you again man yeah um and uh let's see dan's in the chat william shatner still going strong right ain't yeah. that the truth right <laughs> he just came back from space y'all right no. <laughs> right. <laughs> fred said he is literally gone when no one no one has gone before yeah yes. <laughs> that's right yes. Uh, let's see. Neil's in the chat saying, oh, shit, here it is. Kingdom of the Spiders. Yes. <laughs> Dance like, right? <laughs> exactly. Uh, real quick, let's do a quick take on this before we uh, get going on this a little bit, Coriander. What's your quick take on this movie? You know, this is like one of my favorite arachnid movies. You know, it beats arachnophobia. This is like, yeah, this is the best Spider versus man flick, definitely. Right, right. And you know, for me, this is this is the type of movie that it <laughs> it is scary, man, because it's like this could really, really happen. And I did really appreciate with this movie how they tapped into some of the real world <clears throat> issues with things like pesticides and so forth. So yeah, it, it rang true, man. It really yeah. rang true. Um so we're going to give people uh, another minute or two to come into the chat if they choose to do so. So we're going to get finished getting set up for a few seconds. So for you guys in the chat, for you guys watching the replay, sit back, relax. You know what time it is. Okay, so let's let's take it from the top here, Coriander. Um, this movie starts off, and what are you thinking of how it starts off? What are some of the things that grab you first about the movie? You know, uh, obviously the music. No. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's a good point. <laughs> and I love, you know, William Shatner as a as a cowboy vet. You know, it's it's awesome. And yeah, it's funny because when you see him go to the gas station and he meets Diane for the first time, and she's like asking for what, like the ladies' room? Oh no, directions to to go where she could be. She could meet him, the vet. Right. And he like, yeah, he gave her directions and. All this, so yeah, I mean, the opening was great, you know. So their feast, Absolutely. their first meeting was funny, and yeah. yeah, it starts off. It starts off pretty damn good. Yeah, absolutely, it, it is funny. I got to admit, uh, William Shatner. Look, William Shatner, he's the man. That's all I got to say. <laughs> um, Lamar yeah. was saying, uh, fun fact: uh, they did indeed kill real spiders in this film. Yeah, they did. They, they were getting yeah. run over by cars and everything. Yeah, they were. Yep. Uh, Fred's. Fred said the trailer has a music uh, of one of the Twilight Zone episodes and William Shatner, who was in the film, was in two episodes, Nick of Time and Nightmare uh, at 20,000 feet. Yes, those were nice. some good episodes, too, man. Uh, Dan was saying definitely beats Deadly Cargo made for TV spider movie. That's actually not bad. All right. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that one. Neil Maybe. saying I remember seeing Tarantulas, the Deadly Cargo. And he's laughing about that it came out the same year as this, I think. Yeah, I haven't nice. seen that one. Me neither. All right. Um, but yeah, I agree. You know, the, the the setup was really cool seeing William Shatner just having those those funny moments. And then, of course, right. when when Diane uh, actually comes to uh, see him and is like, oh, it's you, you <laughs> right? know, and, and he's like, you, you want know, a beer? You know? <laughs> yeah. He's just kind of a regular down to earth guy. And I really, yeah. you know, he was just really cool. But also let's mention the scene where he was called out to the Colby Ranch. Um, where, where he was asked to look look at a sick calf and stuff. And, um, you know, that also kind of set him up as, obviously he's got a, a charisma to him. You know, he's kind of, you know, uh, just a cool guy, but he, he actually yeah. does have some some great skill in, in his um, profession. But um, that'll kind of come back a, a little bit later too. Um, but, you know, he's, he's basically trying to put the moves on Diane and so forth. And, you know, she's oh, yeah, playing Corey. Yeah. But I think they did have some really good chemistry in the movie, like it was believable. Yeah, they did. And we've yeah. seen a lot of movies where 
that does not really work out very well. What were you thinking about, like, once they start kind of getting into everything, because she had to test um, the blood uh, that was sent to the lab, mm -hmm. and she's basically telling him, you know, this was tarantula venom and uh, spider venom, and yeah. he kind of doesn't believe her at first. What, what were you thinking about oh. at that point? Yeah, he doesn't, because if you think about it, yeah, tarantula that their venom is not very potent or toxic so right yeah so for them to think that this is going to bring down a whatever it was a 200 pound calf he's like right no way in hell right and yeah lo and behold yeah it it was those friggin spiders man yeah man and you know at this point in the movie you you know you didn't see a lot of them yet and i think that was one cool thing about the movie too is that right it ramped up you know, it yes. got to the point where you were like, holy <laughs> yes. shit, it's a whole bunch right? of them. Um, yeah. But we also, um, and, and this was also in the beginning of the movie, we meet his sister-in-law um, yep. because his brother died in in the military. Um, yep. I think it was in Vietnam, right? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Um, so he's taking care of her and her little, uh, little girl. And I thought yeah. that was really cool. They had that scene uh, where he was mm -hmm. telling Diane, hey, I have to go and and um see my, see my girl. girl tonight yeah and she thought she thought he meant you know a woman and he's talking yeah. about his niece you know yeah. um yeah. so it was some funny stuff that was going on and eventually he kind of tells her the story about what's going on but yeah. you also have this scene here where they have to go back out to the colby farm and yeah. um yeah i mean it's just you're starting to see these spiders multiply man yes and it's i mean when creepy. you yeah, the scene right there. I mean, William right there knows that holy shit. And yeah, his name's Rack. He's like, yep. he knows that it's spiders now because how can you deny it? And when they find right. that huge spider, like, what was it? Uh, hole, not hole, but mound. Oh, the hill. I mean, yeah. Yeah, the spider hill. Holy yeah. shit, man. Yeah. That was and creepy it, to boot. Oof. It was. And I creepy, hate spiders. Man. You know, I hate spiders. You've yes, seen how absolutely. I reacted to spiders, so yeah. absolutely. No, I mean when you have that many, it's it's it gets creepy for and me too, man. I'm not gonna lie. And hairy, and yep. oh my god, absolutely. No. Well, when they see the spider hill too, um, Diane starts theorizing about the fact um, that using yeah. the pesticides has really yeah. changed the way that they they live because yeah. you don't have the natural killing predators their food, right yes. you're killing the spider food which is yes. so smart because it makes this so believable mm -hmm. so what are they gonna do but go to the next thing animals you know yep. what i mean and then like william at one point says who's to say if they're taking down these calves they're not gonna start taking us down and yeah, right right it was ah uh, such a great freaking movie yeah 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 no absolutely um and, and and once he said that, you know, that, that was basically the setup for the attacks. So I was just like, yeah, yeah. they're going to come for humans. What else? <laughs> what what else? What else are they going to do? You know, but yeah. um, but yeah, so they've they've got this spider hill. They studied it a little bit and then, yeah. you know, they kind of say, well, keep an eye on it type of thing. And um, you have that scene where um, Strode. Woody Strode, he starts driving off to get some medical attention. Uh, he yeah. played Walter Colby, and he's in the truck, and I knew it. I knew it. As mm -hmm. soon as he got in that truck, I was like, I bet you there's some spiders in there. And sure enough, there was. He goes yeah. off of the, the edge of the cliff or whatever. Yeah. And um, I was just like, damn, that really sucks, man. It really, yeah. really does. Um, real quick, too, in the chat, let me just catch up with these guys here. Um, Slasher Fred was saying the Twilight Zone had many celebrities, Ron Howard, Burgess Meredith, Dick York, and Elizabeth Montgomery. Oh, yeah, they had yeah. tons, a lot more than that, too. Uh, Dan was saying that's Woody Strode, right? He was great. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Uh, Neil was saying, I saw a lot of these deadly animal movies on regular TV when I was like seven or eight years old. Bugs, nice. spiders, bees, you name it, scared the shit out of me because they were things I could relate to, laugh out loud. You know, I think yeah. I think that was the magic of these movies is that it was real things that people had fears of. And yeah. usually oh um, a lot of these movies, uh, which we'll be, you know, we'll be doing some of these movies, but they usually tapped into something that was um, 
that made sense that was logical like in this one the whole idea of overuse of pesticides i mean yeah. you know that's obviously something that we can relate to so right. i think it's very smart for a lot of these movies to tap into those types of things because it just makes everything yeah. more relatable like neil was saying you know mm -hmm. but um we also had that scene uh where they go on a picnic and you've got you know rack and diane and they're just hanging out and they brought um uh, his little niece uh, with him, Linda, yep. and they're just kind of yep. hanging out. And again, this is before, quote unquote, the shit hits the fan, so to speak. And you do see <laughs> that scene where Linda's playing a little bit away from these guys, uh, I think with like a, a a little pail. And you see a spider come up and you're like, oh, man. I mean, so and this is this is far away from that spider hill. So in other words, the, the film is showing yeah. you that these spiders are all around Everywhere. this town. Yes. yes, absolutely. Um, but let's let's get into to some of the other stuff. So obviously we see that Walter goes off the cliff cliff. And then back at the ranch, they kind of go back to the ranch and they show what's going on with Birch Colby. And she's being attacked by a whole bunch, dozens and dozens of these spiders. This scene yeah. was, it was pretty horrific and also horrific what she did. Tell me what you thought of this scene, Coriander. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy because she's taking and shooting a gun and yes. killing off, the, shooting the spiders and yes. they're just coming and yeah, they take her, man. Yeah, and then... She she gets a spider on her hand and, you know, of course, in the movie, I mean, some of it is just you got to follow movie logic. But you figure that she's yeah. so distraught that she actually points the gun to shoot the spider and she shoots her hand. I was like, yeah, what? <laughs> and man, <laughs> yeah. for for an old school movie, it looked pretty good. The effect, yeah. you know, I was like, Definitely. holy shit. She just shot herself in the hand. Um, yeah. Let me catch up to, to the chat, too. Lamar was saying, uh uh, let's see when the farmer's wife shoots her. Yes. Yes. Shooting her hand, man. I would, that caught me. I was like, what? It's like crazy stuff. Um, and he's saying the end is, uh, still is unsettling. I agree. Right. I mean, that was such like a downer of an ending after all of that, that they went through, you know, but yeah. before we get to that though, um, she shoots her hand and then we we realize that, you know, she's pretty much going to be done for. And then we also yeah. have the scene where when uh, Rack and uh, Diane head back um, to Linda's mom, um, you know, and so forth, they find that she's been attacked by the spiders because she saved her daughter who was on a yeah. swing surrounded by them. And yeah. it was like, oh, man, I mean. It, it, this is when the if movie only takes he got there turn. yeah a few minutes you know earlier he probably would have been able to save them both but yeah right yeah absolutely and i felt so bad i mean william shatner again you know people can say what, what they want i've always been a fan of william shatner since you know since i was a little kid um as as a true fan of star trek back in the day but right. you know, I felt so bad for him cuz he was so distraught i mean this is his sister in law you know yeah and now, they kind of before, you know, uh, what's her face came in? Blondie there. Uh, what the hell was her Diane, name? Diane. Yeah, man. Before she rolled into town, <laughs> they were kind of like flirting with each other. And so, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but, but I mean, I just felt so bad for him because he realizes that his niece now doesn't have a mother. Have a mom. And, yeah. You know, she lost her dad in yeah. the war. Then her mother to these friggin' damn you know the scariest thing at least for me is yeah spiders yeah yep that's terrible uh, and slasher fred saying there's also another 70s spider movie called the giant spider invasion and lamar says uh the big fair uh scene was sad with the kids and all yes yeah i know everybody was was getting attacked by the, the spiders kids yeah, old man. folks everyone didn't matter um, they don't discriminate they'll right. take out anybody lamar saying uh the music score is great yeah, I agree. Right. And saying it still holds up still today. I agree. It was very, very good. It yeah. really, really was. Um, but after they rescue young Linda and they get into the truck and the spiders are in the truck and, you know, you got William Shatner's trying to brush them out and this and that. And I'm just like, yeah. man, there's got to be spiders like somewhere hiding those tr in that truck. But they drive off um, and they go to that lodge. 
mm-hmm. and that's where you know uh that's where they hold up but before that also the scene yeah. where the sheriff is basically like look man or the mayor i think of the town was basically saying we got to use the pesticides um you know to kill <laughs> these spiders because they found more <laughs> spider hills they found like 20 yes. other spider hills or something like that yeah so Yes. You you realize that there are thousands and thousands and thousands of these spiders, you know, basically. Thousands and, and thousands and thousands. <laughs> yes. And and Diane keeps trying to tell him, saying, you know, if you use the pesticides, that's what got us in this situation. What we need yep. is natural predators to kill these spiders, like r- birds yeah. and rats and so forth. Because the, but... the pesticides weren't even doing anything to the tarantulas. Right. It was just killing right. their food. So that right. was so stupid. Yeah. Well, he was concerned about the fair uh, that they were having, you know, and and just, you know, money for the town and so forth. But so they figure, okay, they're not going to listen to Diane. They're not going to listen to Rack. They're going to try these pesticides. And you got uh, your buddy getting into the plane and you knew the best part. You knew (laughs) it was going to be bad news because he gets into the plane. And sure enough, there's a bunch of spiders in the plane with him. And man, I was just like, holy crap. He I was, like, I... was screaming oh, like a bitch. Let me tell he, you. <laughs> he was. But hey, was man, I probably funny. would be too. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I would be just like him. I would crash that plane and I would be yeah. dead. Yeah. Because the thing but, of it yeah. is, is that, it, oh you know, God. it's different than a car. You know, with a car, you could stop and get out and all this. He's in the air flying this plane. Right. And there's right. no way to really get these spiders away from him. It's like, you know? this is like one of the best scenes. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it was horrible, man. But, um, great. And, and then when he's losing control and he's, he's basically dive bombing about to hit the group of people, which includes Rack and Diane, people <laughs> yeah. are. People aren't moving fast enough for me, man. That plane started coming. I'd be like, dude, you got to get out of the way. Um, Especially with the poison it has on board. Yeah. Yes. And he crashes into like that uh, that barn, but it's right. It's like a garage. It's, right, it's a gas station. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. And it's right near the pumps. And I'm like, yep. you better run away, man. <laughs> yeah. And so, they're just standing there. Oh, my yes. God. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. I got to get out of here. But um, yeah. but anyways, but when we get to the, to basically the final act, um, when you have William Shatner and Tiffany Bowling, um, they basically head to the lodge. They've got uh, young yes. Linda with them, and yeah. they're in the lodge uh, with another couple, and also uh, the lady that played the um, uh, the head of the the head of the lodge, and mm-hmm. you know they're just Emma. figuring that yeah, yeah Emma. And they figure they're just going to wait it out. And you've got the sheriff that stops by and he checks in on them and this and that. But there are mm-hmm. spiders all over the place. I mean, seriously, yes. you, you're starting to really get a sense. I think what was cool about this. They movie, should have really... left then, you know, because yes. they tried. They At one point they were like, we got to go. Let's leave. And yes. this is when they should have left because, yeah, they waited way too friggin' long. Yeah. I mean, and, and they had the um, the RV. And they were going to, you know, pack up in the RV and leave. And just like in our thumbnail here, man, they see how many spiders are right there. And, and they're just yeah, like, oh, you have man, one scene wanna... where, yeah, where William Shatner's like running somewhere and he's dancing around them. Yeah. Hopping yes. around them because they yes. are everywhere. Absolutely. Well, what was interesting to me, too, is like you said, it was a scenario where it's like if they had left then they they might have had a chance and it's funny because it makes yeah. me think back to another really uh cool movie where where you had to be barricaded in um the mist where yep. it was kind of the opposite you know it's like people were like hey we got to run and get out of here but if they had waited you know yeah, they might have fared have better so it's almost right? like the opposite a little bit but anyways but everybody uh is starting to see that spiders are all, all, all over the yeah. place. The town, can... yeah, when the sheriff goes back yes. into town mm-hmm. and people are mobbing his car and they pretty yes. much kill him. They crash him into this water tower thing and it crashes and crushes him and Yep. Yeah, it's a crazy ass scene, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I thought yep. that was a pretty a pretty well done scene because you really get a sense of the town just losing their mind. I mean, they totally, you know, yeah. start to overtake his car and, and like Lamar and a couple of the people in the chat said, kids are getting attacked by the spiders, yeah, elderly, everybody. Everyone. And you saw yep. some people that were already cocooned. Yep. And it's Look like, at, Holy yeah. crap. 
It's yeah, like that's... shit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's it's scary like a... shit. Yeah, man. But yeah. but we come to the point where it's like, okay, they're hold up holding up in the lodge and they're figuring, okay, we just gotta try to wait it out. But they find that they have to uh they have to barricade, they have to cover all the crevices and cracks and the openings. I mean, yeah. everywhere, whether it's the vents, um, yeah. the fireplace. So they had to start the yeah. fire up. So they had to burn wood. They were, you know, destroying furniture yeah. and all that type of stuff. It when was, Emma was in the, yeah. yeah, when Emma was in the kitchen and they were falling from like a ceiling vent onto the metal sink area and you could yes. hear them. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That, like a, <laughs> I'm always saying this is creepy shit. Yeah. Right. Uh, Neil <sighs> says uh, there used to be a tiny spider that sat up shop in the corner by my front door. It was a good spot because he got pretty big and I decided it was time for him to move on to the next life. <laughs> got too big. Jeez. I get that, man. Uh, Damn. Slasher Fred says, uh, just like in the birds. Yes, that's a good point. Very good point. But, you know, they're holding up in the lodge things are not looking great and then all of a sudden the power goes out and you know right. it's almost like oh, should have known that that was going to happen that the power would go out yep. and so rack has to go into the basement because that's where the fuse box is and of course there are a bunch of spiders down there and this is the yeah. point when i first uh saw the the movie um i was i was kind of shocked you know because we still had plenty of time in the runtime of the movie, and William Shatner gets attacked by the spiders. It looks like he gets yeah. overcome by the spiders. He barely yeah. gets upstairs, and when he is back up there with Diane and Emma and 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 uh, the couple, um, he basically collapses. And I was like, William Shatner is not gonna die, is he? And you know, you come <laughs> to find out that he was he was very close to death. He was you know, lucky, uh, yeah, man. But he was he was lucky. So I was kind of like, oh, yep. okay. I breathe a sigh of relief. And um, yep. you basically see them just holding up, and um, you know, it kind of fades away, and we find out that uh, you know the night had gone by, and it was the next day, and all that type of stuff. And mm -hmm. he says, "Well, there's no sound." Right. And now you're inside of the lodge for anyone who hasn't seen this. And of course, this is the ending. So it is the spoiler of it all. But there's no sound. So he says, well, I got to I got to see what it, what it looks like outside. So he has to pry yeah. away some of the boards that they use to barricade themselves. <laughs> he he, bar he takes one board off and he looks out and he's like, oh, my God, or, or something like that. Oh, yes. oh, Jesus, or something like that. Tell yep. me, tell me what, first of all, t take me back a few seconds before that, and then tell me what you thought of this final moment. Ooh, I mean, after the night they had, you know, between all the spider bites and everyone getting attacked, and yeah, when he goes and pries those boards off and peeks out, and you see mm -hmm. that, th well, all they can see is that their lodge is a big fucking nest, a, a cocoon of, I don't want to say cocoon, but just a, a web. huge, yes, web and spiders, yeah, obviously are everywhere. And then they pan back and mm -hmm. you see that the whole town, the whole, yes, the whole town is like their haven. Yeah. Yeah. The whole town is in a spider web in a cocoon. Yes, like, yeah. Like when they, you know, when they when they kill their prey, you know, they cocoon them and then yeah. they just, you know, yeah, slowly feed on them. So Suck basically, the them. whole yeah. town, the whole town, is their snack and just, yep. you just waiting. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. It's like what? And that's how it ends. Yep. Like what? That's how it ends, yeah. Coriander. I was like. Are you serious? It's, it's the best. Yeah. Right. I was like, are you serious? And, you know, and again, credit to William Shatner, because before this, before he looked outside and, and, and said something, again, people can say what they want. I think he he does a good enough job with acting. Um, his acting, I enjoyed it so much in this movie, but the <laughs> look on his face <laughs> too. was priceless yeah. because he's looking yeah. out and he just he's like I said, he says that thing like, oh, Jesus yeah. or, or yeah. oh, God or whatever. And you're just wondering, what do they see? What do they see? And like you yeah. said, all they can see is that they're covered in the web. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they can't, they can't, you know, you figure that really they can't make see out past much. the web. 
Right. Right. And then again, that camera pans back and the whole town, the entire town of Camp Verde is encased yeah. in a spider web. I was just like, wow. And then it, it, it cuts, yeah. you know, the credits roll. I was like, damn, that's yep. rough. Yep. That is rough. Real quick yeah. in the chat. Um, Lamar says, uh, y'all know this is a Christmas gift to me. Thanks. Oh, man. Hey, Aww. no problem. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. We appreciate you hanging out with us and stuff, man. We, we appreciate yeah. it. Glad you're enjoying it. Uh, right? Dan was saying, I think we need a top 10 spider movie list. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't seen 10 spider movies. That's like one of my worst fears. So, right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Slasher Fred says, I sure would love for you to do a top bug movie list. Oh, all right. Yeah. And if you add bugs to it or any bug, that, that could be done. Uh, Neil says, uh, <laughs> that's got to be the last level of hell. Yeah, man. That, that was just yeah. crazy. I mean, can you imagine? And yeah. and again, you know, for anyone who hasn't seen the movie or if you haven't seen it in a while, I mean, they really they were fighting a good fight, you know, and yeah. they were really seemingly somewhat safe at the moment, you know. And then, of course, you know, the next morning to look out of your yeah, window, it's just a matter of time to see man. that, <laughs> right? Yeah, to see that literally overnight, the spiders took over the whole town. It's just crazy. Yeah, um, I just told you there was like millions oh my yeah. god not just thousands but millions right uh dan was saying the ending had an impact on me as a kid for sure yeah I'm man had, sure still has an oh impact for me as, a, as an adult it's like oh yeah i that's was crazy yeah i was like i was born in 77 so yeah i hadn't seen this till i was yeah in my 20s <laughs> i mean seriously it just it it, it, it wow it was, it, but you know, it was a very, it was a very cool movie the way it was done. And like I said, it ramped up with the attacks, with the amount of the spiders and the viciousness yeah. as they started to attack people and kids. Yeah. That was the thing, man. There were several scenes where you saw kids being attacked and yeah. succumbing to the spiders. I just like, man, that is so I mean, Linda, cool. If William didn't get it when she was in the bedroom. Her That's whole right. bed was covered with friggin yeah yeah spiders yeah and she had them on her she and she's small so it wouldn't have taken much to to wipe her out. That's right, man. So, but of course, yeah. you know this movie is one of the better remembered entries um, in the nature on the rampage subgenre of sci-fi horror um, that was yeah. pretty prevalent in the seventies. You know, you had those right. Yeah, you had so many scenes of people and animals being attacked by the tarantulas. And that's what a lot of people, that's what a lot of people remember uh, about this movie. And of course, such, such a downer of an ending, but, but, <laughs> but you've got to love memorable. those endings. Yes. Yeah. I, yes. I agree. <laughs> those endings, they, they make, I remember them they more. They stick with you. Exactly. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, Slasher Fred was saying, uh, speaking of spider movies, if they're if have ever seen that fifties movie Tarantula, that movie that had a small uncredited appearance by Clint Eastwood, no, I've never Ooh. seen that. I haven't either. Nice. nice. Neil saying I need to go back and visit all these bug movies and see how they hold up for me now. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah. like I said, this was a good time. This one, this movie. yes, you've got to re revisit this one. Yeah, and of course, this is you know one of the one of the more popular ones. Obviously, one of the better ones by a landslide. But there there were some other good ones too, man. Uh, Day Lamar of the animals saying, too. That's a real good one. Yeah, yeah, and and we'll definitely be talking about um, stuff like that and, and grizzly and and uh, yeah. you know uh, swarm and all that type of stuff too. Lamar says, um, "See, we put our minds together. You have us pitch good ideas, teamwork." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you definitely. go, man. That's what it's all about. Uh, this movie is before its time. You can't get quality like this. Yeah, man, yeah. look. They wouldn't even try. Well, I don't know. Maybe they they would try to do something like this today, but I don't think it would have the the right vibe. You know, I think they'd try to do yeah. too, you know too much overkill. I mean, when and not only uh, that, they'd use friggin' CGI, and and who wants CGI with with this stuff? I mean, these guys, what they did using the five thousand spiders that they had was incredible. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and that was the thing, man. They used a hell of a lot of spiders. $50,000 of the budget, they had a $500,000 $500, budget, and 50000 of it went to the purchase of the spiders themselves. Yeah. So, you know, they really Expensive made sure. Buggers. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they really made sure that, uh, you know, they were trying to be as authentic as they could be. I mean, again, yeah. this movie was, you know, from 77, but I think they did a heck yeah. of a job. I really, really it do. Was, it was an enjoyable awesome. movie. It yes. really, really was. And yeah. we enjoy a lot of those movies, like you were talking about, like uh, Day of the Animals and Grizzly and yeah. stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Uh, Neil was saying uh, the ones I remember most are Bug, not the one with Ashley Judd, right? Uh, and Day of the Animals. Yes, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Slasher Fred was saying Clint Eastwood also had an uncredited appearance in Revenge of the Creature, uh, Revenge of the Creature, the sequel to Creature mm. from the Black Lagoon. I did not know nice. that. I didn't right. either. Yeah, and I love huh. I love Clint Eastwood. Same. Cool, cool, fun fact, man. Yeah. But um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for what we got on um Kingdom of the Spiders. Really cool, cool movie. Uh, we thank Lamar yeah. for uh kind of uh, giving us the uh the nudge to do this thing because we'd wanted to do it for a, a while, especially Coriander. And of course, as you guys know, um, we've had so ha much to do. Yeah, yeah, we've got we've got a pretty and full slate. On. And, yeah. and especially for October. Um, but I'm glad that we got a chance to do this because it is a fun movie yeah, and it's a fun movie to is. talk about. So we definitely and it's hope. a great time of year to watch it because it's getting cold. Spiders are going to be creeping in your house. So, yeah. <laughs> right. That's true. <laughs> Very true. But yeah, but um, definitely for you guys in the chat um, or watching the replay, please uh, give us a like. That would definitely help to support the channel. And also, just as importantly, leave us a comment in the comment section down below. Let us know what you think of this movie. Let us know if you have any favorite scenes or characters or if you have other movies that are similar to this that you really enjoyed or would like to see us uh, do an episode on. Let us know in the yeah. comment section and we'll definitely uh, take that into consideration. Uh, as we head prophecy. on out. Prophecy. Yeah, that's another good one too, the prophecy. Yep. Uh, Dan says Clint and Shatner are in their 90s. Yeah. Yeah. They're still hanging around. Crazy. Yeah. Yep. Neil was saying, stop it, Coriander. I don't need to think about spiders coming in the house. <laughs> Right, right. I'm the same. I mean, exactly. I live around woods, so we get some pretty <laughs> damn big wood spiders. So yeah, right. don't even get Absolutely. me going. Absolutely, right. All right, guys, we're gonna get ready to head on out. But again, uh, let us know what you think in the comment section uh, down below, and we'll catch you guys later. If you're watching this, if you're listening to this, you are the Night Watch. Peace out, guys. Up chicken, a meal.